And what's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog for today. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Jeffrey. I do videos on my 2017 Dodge Challenger RT alongside the new to the channel, the 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee that is lifted and which is the new project vehicle for the channel. Um, alongside sometimes the, the Jeep Compass and other vehicles that come up on the channel. But if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Follow me on Instagram, Omega Greed, all one word, same name as the YouTube channel, or go to the website geekswithcars.com. Now, with all that stuff out of the way, let's jump right into the video. For today, we're gonna be doing something kind of interesting. I know I talked about in my last video how I wanted to put a roof rack on top of the Jeep. Um, I had that same roof rack I was running on the Project Mustang for the channel. I took that off. I was gonna put it on this, uh, the Jeep, but the roof rack system that I had, it wouldn't work. This is the basic system that I had for the Mustang, which I ran this on the Mustang and also ran this on my old Mazda 6. It's like a normal car, you know, roof rack. It goes into like the window jams and you can, you know, put something on top of it. Uh, obviously this wouldn't work with that just because the Jeep is so much wider and the fact that the Jeep, it doesn't have the stock, I guess, crossbars. It has the two, I guess, they're not vertical, but you know what I mean. It has the two bars, but they don't have the crossbars on it. So I couldn't mount the roof rack on top of it because it didn't, it didn't have any bars to kind of mount the roof rack too. So, luckily enough, I went to eBay and I just ordered one um, that should work with that. Hopefully it does, because I didn't check this out beforehand, but uh, yeah, we'll see if it does. I'll leave a link in the description, like I always do with all the products that I have, there's always a link in the description if you guys are interested to see what I have and what's the different products that I use for my vehicles. But without further ado, let's unbox this and let's uh, start this install. Let's do it. Oh yeah, guys, on a quick side note, I remember I talked about how the AC wasn't working in here. I, that, that video should go up before this one. I did film that one before I did this one, but you never know when the way things get uploaded. But I did recharge the AC compressor. I was looking online, plus someone else, did, they did say check the fuse boxes, which I did. I checked all the fuses, both boxes. They all look good. Um, the only one I seen that was kind of, I think kind of related to, like open this up, give it camera focus. This HVAC, looking online, I mean, it's kind of hard to kind of pinpoint where it could be coming from. But I did check all, all the fuses. I can, you know, did like a spot check. They all seem to be working. There, there's no like broken fuses. I even checked the driver's side door. There's like a little panel. If you pop, I can get into it. If you pop that open, there's some fuses up there. You won't be able to see. Don't think these fuses would control the, I know that these, cause these are the interior fuses. If worse come the worst, I think it would probably control like the, all the stuff that's inside the interior, like the lighting, um, if stuff was lighting up, obviously, and like your, maybe your instrument, your, your instrument cluster and stuff like that. I don't really think that would control, I mean, unless the, the switch itself is broken, but I don't think it is because it, it's turning on, like the AC it turns on and everything like that. Uh, so I don't think it's, I don't, I don't think it's related to the, the interior fuses. If anything, it will probably be the outside fuses, but I checked all those fuses. And they seem to be working, so I'm not sure. It's probably the AC compressor itself. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try to figure out this AC's problem. Um, I mean, it turns on and everything. The, the motor turns on, it's just blowing in basically air from like the outside. It's not really cold at all. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'll give it another shot. I'll play around with it. And when I figure something out, I will let you guys know. But I wanna give you guys an update on that. Oh yeah guys, and also another, since we're talking about the interior, let's jump right in real quick. Ugh. Another thing that I did buy was just a little, the center console, like a little pad. Similarly, like I had inside my Jeep Wrangler, I just bought like a little armrest pad thing. It just helps make the interior look a lot better. Honestly, these seat covers, they feel great. Um, I did that in the last video as well. And uh, yeah, I love these seat covers. This take me like two seconds, but it helps to spruce up the interior a little bit. But I really do like these WKs, these interiors. They look so nice to me. I would much rather prefer this interior versus the uh, first gen of the JKs like I had before. Uh, even though those interiors are much more rugged, I really like this. I'm a sucker for big center consoles. I don't know why. I love big center consoles to make you just have, I don't know, it makes me feel like I'm just in control when I have like a lot of room to put stuff. And just the fact of how tall up I feel, I mean, obviously this isn't, this isn't stock, so it's really tall up, but 
I just love this interior for the way it looks. And I honestly, I really wish that the JKs had this interior. If they had this same interior, I would have never gotten rid of <laughs> my JK just because I love the way this, this feels. And instead of this, the interior with the JK that had this weird shifter and if this was way down low and like the center console was like much smaller, but whatever. Anyways, adding this little piece will definitely spruce things up a bit and I'm gonna put that on right now. All right, and it's on. It's not the best fit. It's kind of like weird if you see, it's like a weird fitment system. It like goes over like little straps, but whatever, it gets the job done. At least it's something a little more padded. Okay guys, so in the kit, this is what it comes with. I just opened up a portions of it. It has these little rubber grommets, um, this, and it comes with some hardware. The way that I believe it goes on, and I will show you real quickly. I just wanna say it's so weird how I'm standing on top of, like I'm inside, like my feet are just inside of the Jeep to make, just so I can stand up here and I'm like right next to this tree. So let me hurry up and try and do this. All right, so I believe it goes on like this. You have to slip this on like so, and you close it. Use the screw with that, but this is the bottom piece. I believe this has to go in here like so, and you screw it down to tighten this. Once that gets tightened, this portion will be straight, and that's where you can put the crossbar in. So there's four of these, so you do this, connect it with another one, put the crossbar in, and then you can mount it up where exactly you want it to be, how far down and everything. But as you can see, the stock ones are gone. They had the holes for them in here, but they're not in this anymore. So this is a nice alternative. So I'm gonna do this real quick, and then I'll check back in after this is all done, but yeah. Okay guys, so it looks like what I just said was wrong. It's backwards. <sighs> you look like you have to put the screw in upside down and it goes up into here. Only bad thing is you have to put this on first without the crossbar being in there. Tighten this down and then you can squeeze the crossbar through uh, the little hole opening after you tighten this down. Because you can't really tighten it once it's like in there so you have to tighten it as much as you can do. Then you can like squeeze this through and push it through, through through the other side. So basically I installed these parts first then I just put the crossbar through it. I don't really like this because you can technically slide it all the way through. Um, but since I'm going to be putting the roof rack on top, it'll be something in the middle, so you won't be able to like really do that. But just be wary of that. I don't know if I like this kit or not. It doesn't really have good instructions. Actually, had no instructions at all, so that's kind of bad. But at least it's on there for right now. Quick side note. Look at that boy. Garris. Okay, he doesn't care. Okay, now that that's on, let's put the roof rack on. This should look really good once we're done with all of this. Now the roof rack system, this is the basket that I have. This thing I ordered right off of Amazon. It is a, it, actually this kit's pretty good. I forgot how much it was, it was less than like a hundred bucks. There's always a link in the description. Only negative thing, this thing's kind of heavy to put it up there. So I'm gonna have to get the hardware first. Just on a side note, I just want to mention, I can't believe the dude when he painted this, he painted the roof too. That's like, that's good quality, man. I, I definitely approve. But the way this goes on, you essentially put this on kind of like this. It essentially goes like this. You have to put this piece down first. And this kind of sits in like the little grooves. And then you have these other pieces of hardware. This goes on top like that. And then you use this to essentially bolt it down.
as you can see guys I finally have it finished it took me a little bit longer than what I expected to be because of the way that the roof rack mount system was it had to be reversed um, but I think it came out okay the roof rack system now I have it on top of here it is on here pretty sturdy now like I said before this has to be backwards where this part goes up into here tighten this first thing and slide the roof rack or the crossbars through and then after that I was able to attach the uh, basket which I will have a link in the description for this and this in the link or in the description below there will be a link another small thing I just did I just put this little sticker back on if you guys remember my JK I had some blue stickers just like that just or decals I should say people get offended when you say stickers but how to decal I think it helps make my Jeep stand out um, but yeah this is what it looks like right now but yeah just like that guys I'm in the video here so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video please give it a like consider subscribing uh, like I said go to my Instagram or make agreed all one word same name as YouTube channel or go to the website geesewithcars.com for more content and behind the scenes footage of everything that I do um, let me know guys in the comment section below do you guys like the way it looks with this roof rack on top I think it looks great. I definitely love the way it looks. It makes it look much more rugged, and uh, and it's it's useful. I can put stuff on top of the uh, Jeep. So let me know in the comment section below. But like that, guys, I'm in the video, so I'm out of here. Goodbye. <laughs>